Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community, and today we are going to discuss how to resolve the error access denied during a failed login attempt. Let's get started. An access denied error happens when Auth0 refuses the authorization and cannot issue a token. This error can happen for many reasons, and the error description parameter from the response and log entry usually provides a helpful hint. For example, the error description service not found indicates that the value of the audience parameter in the authorized request does not match any of the API identifiers registered with Auth0. This access denied error may also occur if a user denies access to the requested scopes during login. However, the most common source of these errors is in actions or rules. For example, if you have an action that is using API access deny to block a user from logging in based on a certain condition, the error description in the response and tenant log will match the message argument used in the deny function. Additionally, any uncaught errors in rules or actions will also generate an access denied error. For example, this action is meant to retrieve an external user ID from an external API and will fail if the remote user comes back as undefined. This will return an error stating that the remote user is not defined. One additional note is that rules have an unauthorized error object that can also be used in the callback to prevent a login. This does not return an access denied error, but instead returns an unauthorized error. Today, we looked at how to resolve the error access denied during a failed login attempt. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.